people, my people. Now it, it's summer. We're all gonna start just kicking back, and because um, I'm being the kickback because well, um, I'm not an alcoholic. I just drink a lot more booze than you guys do. Certainly not as some as people, much as some see. So when I'm kicking back in the next couple of weeks, as we can see, it's going to air just before Christmas. What is it I'm going to be drinking? And I'm very glad to ask that question. I'm going to be uh, knocking back the Noble Mandrygin <coughs> from Neotide. It is minus a lot of um, right up. There's a, no sound of happiness. It's a screw top. Um, it's a nice forward. It's I am. Oh, it's okay. It's a dry gin. It, that really cuts a lot of the waffle out. It's a dry gin, okay? It's a dry gin from the far western part of Victoria. Um, literally 100 kilometers down the road, and you're in a different time zone because you're in South Australia. So tonight I'm knocking it back with a Fever Dream Mediterranean tonic and a couple of ice cubes. And the fever tree Mediterranean is mitigating the um, the anise, which I'm not particularly a fan of. Um, having said that, um, the very first gin I'll be reviewing next year is um, this stuff from my friend Kakandi at Yarra Distillery, and that's got at least one shit ton of anise in it in the form of fennel. So if you like your gins that are uh, and, the, and these forward, slightly flurry, floral, floral um, but at this set 40% it's going to iron out a couple of the kinks that we're going to have. Um, knock yourself up. It's a dry gin, so basically, as I've said in the, you know, different type of gin, dry gins are really simple creatures and they disappear into cocktails really easily. And in fact, that's why I think they're built for. Nice, easy drinking, they're not terribly complicated, um, and this gin is exactly the same way. Um, I have had precious little time to actually look up what they've worked into it, apart from the fact that it's a dry gin, so therefore it's a friend of mine. Um, not really a lot to be said after that, um, far from Chin Chin, and thank you for watching my channel for a year. Just go and tell your friends. If you want to give Uncle Odin a big Christmas present, go and tell your friends to subscribe. That's all I need. I'll be a very happy camper. Bring you, um, any big bottles. I've only got this one left for the um, for the year, and this is my last little bottle. I intend to be buying big bottles next year, um, expanding my range. There's a new whiskey that's coming out. I'm seeing if I can get hold of it. Um, Brogan's Way is producing a whiskey, so Uncle Odin intends to bring that one to you first. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you um, with the old Dodger, a Navy Strength Gin to finish the uh, year with.